I was actually about 13 years old and um, a big hockey fan and that's not really saying much about the kids of my age in Russia because hockey was big. Hockey was big on TV. Uh, TVs weren't big. I vividly remember our TV was about this big, black and white. Um, but we could see what was going on and that was enough and uh, everybody would gather around TVs and watch the hockey games, of course because of the time difference, like an eight hour time difference. So it was really, really late at night. And nevertheless, everybody stayed up uh, and we expected the reward. We were going to those Olympics thinking that it was going to be a cakewalk. I remember the game started and I wasn't really concerned about the, are they going to win or not. I actually wanted to make sure that they win in style. Because uh, who were playing against them? College kids, literally. Uh, this was not supposed to be, you know, a real contest. So, and of course, you know, I'm 13 years old, so when things don't exactly work out the way you think they expect to work out, it's like you feel a bit unnerved. But that was probably the first time where I saw that, uh, you know, the super skill may not be everything. Tritiak, who was the Soviet Union uh, goalie, and I think universally considered to be one of the best ever to play the game, not just in Soviet Union, but anywhere, uh, was replaced by Mishkin, um, who was a very good goalie himself, but not in Tritiak's uh, league. But at the same time, I remember thinking, that's what happened last year, uh, because Mishkin was actually the goalie who played uh, that game that uh, Soviet Union won 6 nothing against the uh, NHL All-Stars, and he had a shutout. So I was thinking, that's not bad. Now, uh, you know, Mishkin is going to come in and uh, take care of business, and that's about all I remember, because that, that after that, you know, like, when things aren't happening the way you expect them to, the whole thing was kind of like in the blur because I was watching something I was not expecting to see. And then afterwards, I just, I remember Monday morning, the boys would always gather and talk about, you know, the games, whatever, it was a world championship or the, the one of the series against the Canadians. Or, we didn't really, we didn't want to touch it. It was like um, almost a taboo did not feel like this was anything worth talking about, embarrassment, um, just general frustration, and uh, let's just forget the whole thing. It was more of an emotional, I think, moment, and largely for, for the guys who won, because that, that's, that gave them something to, you know, to cherish. For Soviets, uh, it was probably just, okay, it, it's something to, accept and move on and uh, not worry about it. But I, I wouldn't say it was like, a, you know, a national wound that was just festering there for years. No, I, I don't think it ever shook the, the foundation of belief of, you know, the country and their, you know, hockey players.